Oh, let's let's end it with this. Travis Scott um dunk SBs. I've been a bit on the fence with the whole dunk thing. I don't think it's gonna last. I think it's a dud. I think everyone kind of buying dunks now and trying to you know um bump artificially bump up the value of shitty dunks that I had that I sold because they don't drop well with trainers or jeans. Now it's better because people are wearing flared jeans or they're editing their jeans to make them a bit bag at the bottom. Fair enough, but. It's not really something I'm really vibing with. I'm not really a big fan of. I don't really think it looks that good, personally, in my humble opinion. Um, but again, it's good. It's cool to see that. I'm not just sure if it's organic either. That's the thing that's really kind of paining me. I think I don't like to be hoodwinked. I don't like to be um, marketed to. So I'm not just sure if this is like a conco a plan that they've devised in Nike offices to kind of bring them back in vogue, or if this is something that has happened organically but anyway regardless of that um the travis scott dunk lows are very very nice like they really remind me of the he heady um uh old school era of the kind of silver buck nike sbs um which you if you're familiar with them back in the day you would know what i'm talking about they would they wouldn't look out of place if they saw them in the sam city scales back in the day they look really nice so you've got this kind of like blue paisley print with this kind of brown uh check pattern um these really weird cord hemp laces just really kind of you know of a Travis Scott aesthetic, right? A little bit dusty, a little bit brown, a little bit green, a little bit blue. Uh, just some real kind of um, rough vibes on the upper, but again, done in a very tasteful way. I'm not sure if there's a secret pouch in it like he did in, in most of his Jordans, but I, I'm liking the color placements. I'm liking the patterns. I'm liking the fact that he kind of is persisting with this kind of brown and pink theme, which maybe is his kind of two favorite colors that he wears quite often. Um, and yeah, I'm a big fan of them, man. I think they look really, really impressive. Again, they're going to sell out like hotcakes. They're going to be reselling for a lot of money. So if you're going to buy a pair, definitely try and get on them very quickly. But I think as an approach for the dunks that I've seen coming out so far, I'm liking. I'm probably not a fan of the whole dunk revival. If they're just going to re-retro every dunk that we wore back in the day when we were younger. It's just annoying. It's just, there's no need for that. But if they're going to do new ones and maybe get some of the newer generation kids out there who are now buying trainers to kind of uh, interpret, oh, how do you re how do you reinterpret this shoe that you probably didn't give a shit about? Because the thing with a dunk that would work for you, especially a dunk high, because it looks quite similar to a Jordan 1, you could, in theory, get those same customers that wear like ripped jeans and, you know, uh, BB Simon belts and that kind of aesthetic, right? You could get those kids to maybe transition to a, a dunk high. You probably could if you're clever with it, right? Do the right collaborations, the right GR releases, and suddenly it could blow up. But if you're just going to re-release stuff, it's not worth it. But if you're going to re-release stuff, if you're going to put out some old school dunks, right, for the sake of it, and again, this isn't an SB, so please forgive me for my sins, but if you're going to do it, then please, for the love of God, please, for the love of God, put out my most favorite dunk of all time, a dunk that I've been pining to get a hold of myself i was actually considering doing an, a nike id of these and making them look similar but you know i didn't want to cheat myself if you're going to bring out another shoe please bring out this dunk high um for else they're so beautiful or the nerd sorry from back in the day like you know all black upper uh gray silver swoosh with an ice sole at the bottom and red laces absolutely beautiful shoe like one of the most underrated dunks i think out there again maybe not underrated because they go for big bucks on stockings i'm still sure but they are so fucking beautiful like what an incredible 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 shoe um i think i missed out on these maybe about a couple of years i think i wasn't really aware no i, I don't think they came out as a gr i'm pretty sure they were like a friends and family only I'm pretty sure i wonder how much they're going for now on stockx <gasps> free grand oh okay cool so yeah, these are well, 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 well outside. If you will ask, let's see if they got my size in them. They're fucking beautiful though, man. They're so, so nice. Um, oh, you got to log in first, isn't it, right? Can you just look at the size and see how much they're selling them for? No, arcs available. Cool. Last, okay, none, none available in that size. But yeah, beautiful shoe regardless. Last one sold for 900 quid, it looks like. But yeah, um, again, if they, I'm not sure when they're meant to drop. Rumored to be at $150. They're going to drop at when? including they said to release on okay the end of the month end of february okay that's pretty cool so keep an eye on them if they're available uh if you want to resell you probably have to make some good money if you want to wear some shoes then they'll probably look amazing when they start getting worn and beating up a bit you start getting some creases on them is that like a new buck what is that like a denim denim maybe it's top of, i don't know but yeah good shoe i like it like what he's doing big up travis um so far so good in that collaboration isn't it and that's where i think we'll end it